You think people who aren't rich are losers with three O's? Yeah, I'm not. I, I grew up on a pig farm in Saskatchewan, so right. there's nobody in my family that's got any money, so that, that would be pretty tough for me at the Christmas dinner if right, I had that, right. a, that opinion. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, nah, I, don't, I don't think that. I mean, money, like I said, if I wasn't even primary reason why right, I got right. into this business. It, it just sort of fell out of a tree for me. Uh, I, I think there's more than one path to happiness, I guess right. is my answer. For sure, for sure. All right, but let's, let's, let's look at the path that you've taken, which is uh, the international playboy path. Does that make you happy? Very happy. Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that's good. I mean, I mean, what guy wouldn't like to live like that, right? So that, which is why it works so good on the branding stuff I do, right? right? Yes, exactly. It's, it's aspirational. Right, right. Everybody no, it, says, wow. it, it definitely is. So, so what is your life like now? I mean, flying all around, you have a pli private plane? I had one, but uh, when the UIGA came and I sold my business and I really changed right. my life. So I fly uh, commercial right now, uh, first class. But uh, I've got some nice houses scattered around the world. And, uh, you know, when I sold my business, I got out of being an executive and I... It was amazing because I, I, for a few, maybe like a month or so, I had a little bit of executive withdrawal where you're like thinking <laughs> what do that I do you, now? Right, you know right. stuff's slipping or something. Right, right. But uh, eventually that went away, and I've never looked back. And I, I don't think I could ever do it again. I, I mean, your life is just so much better. Right? What I do now is because I got my little media company, and I still do my my branding stuff. And I look at a few deals that come in to, for my venture capital uh, arm, and uh, that's it. The rest of the time, I go to the gym and. Amazing. Swim in my pool and, uh, you know, just travel around, do fun stuff, That's awesome. river rafting. Uh, you know, a lot of people think of you as this guy who's like, because the, uh, you know, the, the famous magazine article said, catch me if you can. But you're not really this guy who's just like, eh, F you to the U.S. government or whatever. Like the UIG A came out and then you did adjust your lifestyle. And yeah. yeah. First of all, I never said catch me if you can. Right. That was I there. said the exact opposite right. of that. <laughs> and that wasn't what they wanted to hear. So they put the title in there. And by doing that, it made it look like it was a quote of mine. It was right. the opposite of what I said. Uh, I said the whole time that we were being interviewed that I considered what we did to be international, uh, illegal in all the jurisdictions that we operated in, and it was legal under international law because of what the World Trade Organization had determined. Right. And that, I thought, was the way the world worked. And then, of course, the UIGA came in, and the whole world shifted on me, and uh, I went into this other phase of my life. But uh, yeah. Do you still consider yourself to be like on the run? Do you still feel like the U.S. or other authorities no. are quote unquote I, after I, you? Or? I don't think I've ever been on the run. I think that's just kind of a myth. And quite uh -huh. frankly, it's been one that's been quite profitable for me. <laughs> right, right. It it's sort of gives like me this this outlaw. this element, yeah, like this element of right, bad boy right. outlaw right. stuff that goes along with the whole uh, branding shtick that I do. But uh, there's no evidence. I mean, maybe, but there's no evidence that there's I ever have any had any problems in the United States. And uh, certainly, I don't think I have any problems now. Right. So that's been so, a long time since. Uh, but you wouldn't. You wouldn't go. Gone. You wouldn't like tran uh, uh, You know, transfer to another plane in Houston or something. Like you wouldn't. I, I, I think I would. Really. But, but I, yeah, I just don't have any reason to go there right, right now. Right. But, uh, yeah. So there's no countries that you like don't let yourself go to because you're worried that you might get pinched. No. No. <laughs> no. no. Huh. That system doesn't really work that way. I mean, and, and honestly. Uh, there's just a lot of things going on in the world right now. I just don't think I'm that important. Well, the, the U.S. Department of Justice has a track record of caring about very unimportant things in light of other things they should be caring about. So, you know, <laughs> wouldn't you say or? No. No? No. Well, like, I, I, th I think that they, one of the uh, recent, uh, I think it was on uh, Black Friday, the right. prosecutor that led that, I think he was recently quoted in the Baltimore newspaper as saying that uh, he's only interested in people that are making too much noise, basically, in, in the U.S. market. Hmm. And that uh, people that aren't that big, he's not going to be bothering with. So I think there is, there is a limit to the types of people that are, they're going to go after in our industry. And I think there's, a, there's also a shift underway right now. I think the U.S. is actually gearing itself up to get, come into this industry. You think so? Yeah, it's just a matter of time. I personally am of the opinion it's going to take a long time because right. I think that stuff moves slowly in the U.S. There's other people that are thinking it's going to happen quicker. I think it's going to be a long time and be state to state. Right. I don't think it's going to be federal. And not sports, right? it's going right? to be poker first. Right. But poker. not in our lifetime, not sports. Not in our lifetime? No, never. Really? Never. Wow. Not in the U.S. All That's the, just the, my opinion. Right, it's right, not, right. Wow. I don't actually have any influence on it. So do you think that, uh, that then there will always be, you know, uh, sports books that people in the United States can bet on? Or do you think that, you know, it's basically going to literally just disappear, that people in the United States won't be able to bet online on sports at all? 
in the near future? I think it's impossible to stop people from doing something that they want to do and that they don't think is hurting anybody else. Is it impossible? I mean, well, if, if I think you, it's if impossible. You can... Because, it, I mean, it, it's been going on since right. the United States started. And even if they are successful in shutting down the internet, then it's just going to go back to the street, right? So right, right. That's what I mean. Obviously, they'll be able to do it on the street. But, but, but you as look far at as China as a model. <laughs> and I do right. a lot of business over in Asia right now. In fact, that, that's exclusively where I'm doing business, Asia and Europe right now, other than my media stuff. And I, I have a food and beverage company I'm starting up. I'm doing a pilot in, uh, in Manila. So I'm not even in the internet. Food and entirely. beverage company. Yeah. Unbelievable. Bodog Coffee. Maybe you <laughs> here first. <laughs> I'm not joking. No, no, I believe you. I'm sure. Starting a, a, a chain of espresso outlets called Boda Coffee. coffee? <laughs> um, well, possibly, but I'm actually doing, uh, getting all the technology and the coffee from Italy, out of wow. Italy. So they purchase their coffee all over the place. Awesome. I lost so, my train of thought. No, that's okay. If you, if you pull chicks and you and you like coffee, Boda Coffee, come and see <laughs> it. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. Why did you start CalvinAir.com and what is it and why did you do it? Because I just got frustrated with the uh, misinformation that was being disseminated by a lot of the incumbents in the media space internationally, <laughs> and uh, I would go to them, they'd publish something that didn't make any sense, and I'd go to them and I'd say, well, I have another opinion about how I think this is really working, and they would say, well, you know, we're not interested in your opinion. Right. So I said, okay, well, that's fine. How about, how about I start my own media company yeah. instead? Another no. Who cares? So, so, so it's not to make money necessarily. It's more just to have a presence in the industry. I think it will make money. Uh, it's already designed, though, so that if it does make money, it's going to go to charity. Oh, really? Uh, it's, that's not a, yeah, it says right in the bottom. It's also uh, the most carbon neutral website uh, of its type in our industry because it's all, all the servers are in Iceland where they've got the uh, geothermal, like renewable resource energy. Totally. So, uh, yeah, so it's carbon neutral <laughs> company, as carbon neutral as I could get it, and it's any profits it makes are going to go to charity. That's awesome. That is totally awesome. All right. Yeah, well, but it's, I'm it's just a, doing it for fun, actually. Right, right. In a nutshell. 